Holy shit, Brad, this is my 1,000th video. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 44 in the house. And not only is it a special day of action figure surgery, but we also have my 1,000th video on YouTube. Yes, you know, guys, today was supposed to be Hell's Gate, but my son did come on the 22nd of February, and I'm so thankful and blessed for him. He is absolutely beautiful, adorable, and I love him more than anything in this world. So instead of giving you guys Hell's Gate today, I obviously have to take another week to film that show for you guys and get that edited up for you guys. It's probably going to be another seven to eight days before that show is ready for you. I'm going to be doing a long ass episode of Action Figure Surgery for you guys and it's going to be great because it's the 1000th video here on the channel. It's the episode 44 edition. Maybe we can do something crazy for episode 50 but as you can see we have a shit ton of figures back here. Like so many figures. I can't even count them but I wanted to do something big for the 1000th video and this episode of Action Figure Surgery guys. So we got some, we got all kinds of stuff guys. We have some basic head swaps in here. We got some sort of, you know, part switching like a uh, Frankenstein effort in here. We got some really off the wall type shit and then we got sort of like a fantasy custom attire that I'm really excited about like slash it may look dumb as hell but it, it's kind of it popped in my brain. I was like, you know what Brad, F it. We're going to go for it and you know what? It may look shitty. It may look stupid but you know what? I, I don't give a damn. We're going to attempt it and uh, I think we got a very successful day of surgery right here and now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like everything's kind of convoluted in my brain so I'm going to have to slow things down for a second, get everything going, and just get myself going. But you guys know how we start action figure surgery. We always start off with what we're going to do on this episode. So let's go ahead and do that first before we get any surgery type done. Let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to start off with Seth Rollins right here. This is the Elite Series 75 Seth Rollins. And all we're going to really do with this guy is use his head sculpt. I know a lot of people say they don't like this head, but I, I really don't know why people don't like this head. I think it looks great. I think it looks the most like Seth possible. Really looks really good. I, I enjoy it a lot. So we're going to take this Elite Series 75 Seth and we're going to remove his head sculpt. Now when we remove his head sculpt, this is where this freaking Lieutenant Dan ass Rollins right here is going to come into play. So we have our Lieutenant Dan Rollins over here, where our Elite 75 over there. We're going to take this figure and we're going to pop his head off and we're going to switch this head sculpt over here. That is not all. We're also going to remove these arms from this Rollins and we are going to add the Elite 45 Rollins on here. And so you're probably saying, well, MDT, that's going to look dumb, right? You got white wrist tape and silver and black and tied in with everything. How the hell is that supposed to make any sort of sense? Well, if you'll just give me a moment here, I'm going to explain it. Um, I'm going to take these Elite 45 lower legs of Seth Rollins, and I'm going to put these on here. I am going to just put these on here. I don't give a damn. F it, man. We're going to put these on here. And uh, not only that, we are going to also add these two knee pads. And I, I don't know why, but I'm just kind of going off the cusp here. We're going with this left Elite 45 pad and on the right we're going to go with that basic 102 Rollins uh, knee pad and that's going to have you know the Elite 45 arms, the Elite 45 lower legs and whatever, the Elite 75 head sculpt and then the uh, these cool little knee pads with the SR logo here in gold. I know the SR logo right here is silver but I just wanted to sort of just throw some shit at the wall and see what sticks and just you know what it may look dumb as hell or it may be badass so you know what we're just going to attempt it and just kind of see what that looks like and you know it may look stupid but we're going to do it anyways and you guys are probably thinking well that's going to be headless no it's not going to be headless because i have an extra elite 37 rollins head sculpt that i'm going to put on there and i think that right there will be a pretty cool little head swap because i have two elite 75 rollins that one right there on top of that would look pretty cool i think so there's where we're going with all of these rollins so i'm going to stack these up over here because that one is going to be a pretty cool fantasy attire slash frankenstein effort kind of going all together you guys know we have so many rollins here on the channel so I, i'm always trying to you know come up with stuff and put stuff together and kind of you know, throwing stuff at the wall again and just trying to see what sticks and maybe you can create some really cool stuff. We've done it before with the cash-in Rollins. We did like a Frankenstein thing. It turned out pretty damn cool. So hopefully that thing happens again here today, but we will not know until we complete it. So that is our first rule of business. Um, I'm not sure if we'll go in that order. That's just what I'm thinking right now. 
Okay, next up, guys, we do have a basic Finn Balor head swap. I do want to get over here. I went to Walmart, and they had the Battle Pack series with Finn and Lashley and then Rollins and Lesnar. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to grab both of those. I really like that Brock head. I really like the Finn head, and I really like the Rollins head. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab these Battle Packs, put them in surgery, and see what we got. So I do have this ringside exclusive Balor with this top talents head sculpt on it. But I think I want to put the Smiley Finn over here with the black and the Balor club and everything like that. Since I already have my updated NXT BEW Custom NXT 2020 Finn Balor figure, I'm going to go ahead and put this Smiley Finn over here. And he almost fell the hell down. Or he, he did fall the hell down. He almost took out the whole freaking crowd back here. But I think that would work fine. Um, since I already have that heel NXT Balor, this one can easily be swapped over to the Smiley Head Sculpt without any issues whatsoever. So that is a basic head swap that we're going to be doing. Another basic head swap that we have, guys, is going to be this right here. This is the ringside exclusive Brock Lesnar. And I really do like this head sculpt. I think this is probably the best head sculpt for Brock that you can get besides the screaming one. Like the one that's like pissed off. So I am going to switch on this battle pack head sculpt over here to give me that flashback Brock that looks more like him. You know, this one probably looks a little bit old, but I like this head sculpt better than this one. This just doesn't really look like Brock in my personal opinion, so I am going to swap these head sculpts. Again, really basic stuff, but I did want to do it here today on surgery. Something else that we're going to be doing, guys, is we are going to be converting this Bobby Trashley into basically this Bobby Trashley. So I'm basically going to do like an elite conversion right here. So stay with me if you will and just try to stay you know bear with me the best that you can because we got a lot of stuff to cover right here okay so what we've got is you're probably wondering why the hell these uh how i'm gonna switch these wrist tapes that's where the thing comes in i'm not gonna completely switch these wrist tapes all i'm going to do is take some extra elite 63 shelton benjamin arms which are the same exact arm mold and skin tone as this bobby trashley right here and they have white wrist tape now again i won't have the black outlines but the white is more accurate to this than this is so i am gonna switch these on if you're wondering about the tattoo I did acetone off as much of the tattoo as possible to make it look like Bobby Lashley's actual tattoo that he has in real life. I don't think he's gotten it removed. If he has, I'm not sure. But I know a lot of people said that the Elite 60 whatever Bobby Lashley was the Elite 69 Lashley was missing his tattoo to begin with. So uh, I went ahead and acetoned off some of Shelton's to give it the shape of Bobby Lashley's. And it's not a big deal. Even if he's removed it now, I don't really care. I, I can always acetone that off later. And we're going to put these arms on here. Not only that we are going to be taking off the upper legs right there and we're going to be putting on these upper legs which are the triple h legs the elite 23 triple h upper thighs we're going to switch those out right here the where the thigh cut is to give them the biker trunks look that you see over here like we did uh earlier on action figure surgery like a few episodes a few episodes ago it was a long ass time ago that we did that but we are going to switch out those upper legs there to give them the biker trunks look from there we are going to go to his boots and you guys will notice that he has these kind of boots on with the stripes we're going to take my one of my elite five zigglers and we're going to put these boots on there and these will give him a more accurate look to bobby trashley's boots um, from that attire if you guys can see right here so that will make it way more accurate one thing i will say is that there is some chipping right here that i'm gonna have to paint over in black eventually and seal that up so i will have to do that at a later date but uh, we are going to switch these boots on to the Lashley there and that will complete our Lashley so that will that will be a pretty cool swap you know switching all that together getting all of that figured out but that is not all from that because we also have to uh, switch some boots on here so what I'm thinking is after we switch out these boots from Ziggler we're going to put these boots from this Ziggler that's like a fantasy weird creative thing and stuff we're going to take these arms and boots and put them over here to give this Ziggler since I already have an Elite 5 Ziggler with the cheetah print and these boots in the vest might as well switch it up a little bit I may even put this head sculpt over here we'll have to see about that but uh, there it is that's another swap that we're going to do on top of the Bobby Lashley now from there guys we also are going to be doing this little mini swap right here and all this is is a head swap and a hand swap so we're going to be popping this head sculpt off of our elite 67 randy orton onto the elite 35 and from there we are going to be switching out these hands from this basic orton that i've had for so long these uh black wrist tape hands onto these hands so that he has the full black wrist tape look and he will have the more updated head sculpt except he will have you know the blue
blue and black and white trunks instead of the black solid trunks he will have a blue color so that gives us a little different look and I could also put the hoodie on there if I wanted so that's another little swap we're going to be doing here today. Moving forward guys we do have a few more swaps here we are going to take the, now this one's a little bit weird and creative and wacky what we're going to do here is we're going to take these sting boots and we're going to put them on this hurricane and I don't know why I just thought since they made this short anyways and I have an extra hurricane I just wanted to swap these boots over here because I think the greens would look really badass together and just sort of give us a different look for Hurricane. So that's what we're going to do, man. I, I just want to see what that looked like. Maybe it'll look dumb, but uh, you know we've done it with DX and Mojo Raleigh before the DX Triple H. We've done that before, so I figured switch out these boots. That'll be a cool little creative custom for that. And then lastly, guys, we are going to be switching these head sculpts. So this is the Battle Pack Rollins that we got with our Brock. We're going to switch out this screaming head from the TNF and put on this uh, Battle Pack head sculpt over here, and I think that will make this TNF Elite Rollins look a whole lot better there and more, you know, just, I just like this head sculpt better than the screaming. I don't like the screaming, man. So we are going to do that basic head swap, and then mercifully, we can end this video, and I also have the best to throw onto that figure, and then mercifully, this is stuff, we're going to finish this, or start this video off with this, and all this is is taking the Top Talents 2018 Rollins and putting on the Elite 37 vest to give him the full black attire, which looks pretty cool, and that's all I wanted to do to start the video. So this is our first swap here today. Not even a swap, more of just a little fix-up style deal where we take the vest and we plug it in and it's an all-black attire. And there you go. That's that's literally all I wanted to do to start the video. Makes it cool and uh, makes it where there's not just a shirtless Rollins chilling on the shelf. We'll have him in the vest there. So putting this vest on, getting this ish confirmed, and bam, there we go. We'll take a closer look at him at the end. But that's how we start our video, man. We got our first thing complete, you know, just slow rolling. Now we can get started. <sighs> Now we can finally get started on all of the freaking surgery we got here today on our 1,000th video on the MDT football channel. Now since we're right here guys, I might as well, you might as well just get the big ish out of the way already man. We might as well dive the hell in. We're going to start off with Seth Rollins. Now what we're going to have to do is get the head and arm switched very, very soon here. So what we're going to do is, uh, you probably wondering why I didn't put this head sculpt and why am I getting a whole new head sculpt. It's because this one's all beat to hell and all trash. So we are going to get this right. Uh, this vest doesn't belong, Brad. That's that's for a later part of the video. So what we got is this head sculpt, these arms, these arms, and uh, we got to take the vest off here because we don't want our Elite 75 Rollins right here getting blasted right in the face, you know. You want to take this vest off so it doesn't get destroyed. We can use that at a later date. Maybe do something cool with it at a later date. Say in a later date like a hundred fucking times, Brad. What are you doing? Alright, so another thing that I want to do, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and plug these. Oh my god, I dropped the peg hole F. So I've got the peg holes in position, guys. Now all we have to do is... Uh... Jesus. I'm going to go ahead and put the knee pads in place because if we don't, then we're going to have to scramble and I really don't want to scramble here, Brad. Uh, so I'm going to try and do this all in one take. I'll be actually pretty damn shocked if we can get all this. You guys know how we try to challenge ourselves. I feel like we haven't done surgery in a minute, so I'm actually, I'm, I'm pretty hyped today, Brad. Dr. Whitekiss in the house and uh, we're going to put this here. We're going to get our arms going in the middle there. Go ahead and make sure that's going to get heated up and then the big thing also is to get this head sculpt heated up and not only that but the lower legs of this elite 45 Rollins heated up as well so they can pop right on to the elite 37 Rollins so that we don't have any bull crap and uh, what's good I don't, I'm not sure how small the peg hole is for this head sculpt but I am worried that it may be a little bit small and then you know you get effed up man you you, you know how the Jeff Hardy's do us sometimes so we're gonna get this crunched forward go ahead and get these arms like right in the line of fire as well because I want to make it you know I want to make it in one big swap if we get all this in one I'll I'll probably cry, but you know what? Uh, let's just see what happens. I got the white trusty hair dryer. We're ready to go. Uh, let's make this this big 1,000 video freaking special here today with a big ass episode of football surgery.
All right, guys, here we go. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's start off with this head sculpt and see if it's going to pop off. Okay, we got it. We got that. That is a very big deal right there. Next up, we are, okay, these arms are loosey-goosey. Holy Christ, I'm freaking afraid. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and pop this on here. That way, that is done. And, like, we're done with this Rollins. We got to come back to it. Okay, there. We'll take a look closer look at him at the end. We already got that on there. Now, let's see if we can pop off this head sculpt. There's the Elite 37 right there. Nick freaking trying to snap on me. I don't agree with that. That neck, you know what, that peg hole that we talked about is actually pretty small, so that's good to know for future, you know, endeavors. Uh, there's one arm. Here is the other arm right there. Did this get heated up enough? I think it did. I love how, like, we were worried about the lower legs getting enough heat, and we're literally, like, switching them completely dead last. So that's freaking hilarious. Instead of going to it first, completely ironic right there. I don't even remember if I was bitching about it, but you know what, Brad? You might as well try and switch that right there. And then get this right here. And then Rollins is completely done, right? We'd have both Rollins completed. Uh, come on, damn it. We're right there. Don't do it to me now, Brad. Did we get it? I think we got it. Did we? Okay, yes. All right, we will take a closer look at that Rollins at the end. I do know that all of his limbs are super loosey-goosey salad. So uh, hopefully he'll cool down and, you know, he won't be a piece of trash by the end of the video. But it feels really good to get that at least 37 Rollins out of the fodder box because uh, he was chilling in the Seth Rollins fodder box for a long time. Um, you know, just kind of rotten there. So uh, I'll let you guys be the judge of that little fix-up fantasy attire custom thing at the end. And uh, we'll just kind of go from there. But there we go. We got this extra fodder. You know what's going to be cool? Let's uh, let's kind of keep this in the background. And let's just kind of see what extra fodder we got laying around when this is all over. You know what would be cool? A challenge at the end of every surgery video. Take whatever leftover fodder you have. Try to build something. That'd be badass. I, we could try that here today. Maybe we'll have enough. But I'm just going to reach off the top of this pile over here to my left. And we're just going to do customs as we go. So it looks like our next bit of surgery is just going to be head swapping these two Rollins. And that, that shouldn't be anything, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it. Uh, hopefully we don't have any problems. Both of these head sculpts have issues when, when switching them. They will get, you know, stuck and stuff. So hopefully, you know, we don't have any problems with that. Breaking neck pegs and ish. Trying to make it a clean day of surgery. It's going to be a long day of surgery. So hopefully we can get by without breaking anything. But let's go ahead and heat this hoe up and see what we got. All right, guys, this should be long enough. Again, these neck pegs can give you fits sometimes, and this one's just ass. I freaking hate this Rollins head sculpt. It's so difficult to take off. Anybody that's ever switched this head sculpt will tell you the exact same thing. It's so long down here. I'd rather just damn cut his fucking face off than have to deal with popping this head off because it's so damn awful. Damn, I hate this head skull. It sits way too low. It's got the skin going over the neck right there. I mean, Jesus. All right, I did get it off, but that's just because Dr. Whitekiss is is a veteran in here. So, you know what? Look at that right there. It's been a while since we've broken a neck peg, so that's good to see. But I'm going to go ahead and pop this on this Rollins. So we're going to have four different Rollins on this episode, so that's pretty cool. But there we go. We got that switched out. Very, very easy stuff. And uh, we will take a closer look at that Rollins at the end. He's all loosey-goosey again. And the Rollins figures being on ball joints really hurts him. Like, that makes him, you know, extra loose. So, uh, there we go. There, there's a... There's a a little fart in a bag right there. Go ahead and I guess slide this back because we're trying to collect that fodder. And now going to the next thing guys, it is going to be our hurricane. And this one actually should be pretty easy. Just, you know, flap that up right there. Go ahead and put this up. And I'm going to go ahead and just switch them both over. So the Sting is going to have these kick pad feet and I don't even care that much. So we're just going to switch these boots. Should be relatively easy. You know what? I don't know why I'm going one at a time like that. I might as well try to combine some, you know, just try to combine some. And I guess we can go ahead and do all four of these boots. That way we can get Ziggler knocked out as much as possible. And I may not do anything with the Ziggler. I may just switch out these boots right here. That way, uh, I don't know. Let's just let's go ahead and switch these boots. I'm going to put that on top right there. And go ahead and get this started. And let's hit it. Alright guys, here we go. Uh, highly doubt the arms got heated up. Yeah, why'd you even try, you stupid jackass? Alright, here we go. Got the boots popped off there, and now we're moving over here to here, and just go ahead and get these boots off, because we're safe. Oh my god! 
Almost choked on nothing. Vomiting here in episode 1000 of MDT and, and surgery and stuff. All right, there we go. Got the other pair of boots off. So we do have four different pair of boots in this hoe. Uh, switching these off, switching that off there and there, and then go ahead and take this up here and pop this kick pad from Hurricane over here. And that fits very weird on this Sting figure, which is kind of wicked. Okay, well, well, you know what? We'll take a closer look at him at the end too, because since he's a full figure, you know, there's nothing left over. Um, we are going to pop these Sting boots over here. Just again, this is obviously not accurate, but uh, it, it makes for a cool look. And you know what? It kind of fits like a, I don't know, these boots kind of remind me of like a superhero theme. So we'll look at that hurricane at the end. Again, just a little, you know, weird looking thing that uh, could, you know, turn into something fire. So we have our Lashley boots, we have our Ziggler boots. So yeah, we're gonna pop these over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these boots over here onto this other Ziggler, and there we go with that. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and heat up those arms just cause I wanna switch it and see what it looks like. So I am gonna heat up the Ziggler arms with whatever we do next, just because I, I do wanna switch that out just to see. Um, so yeah, we're, we're gonna do that just cause I wanna. All right, so we got our Lashley boots here. We are gonna switch this up as well so let's go ahead and put the arms up there go ahead and hit it with this right here and then um, I guess while we're at it we can go ahead and switch out the hands and the uh, the head sculpts of this Randy Orton right here so let's go ahead and put dead gum fart bags uh yeah okay now you're probably thinking why wouldn't you just switch the arms of the Randy Orton and that's because the tattoos right here this is dark compared to the Randy Orton Elite Series 67 if you guys have ever seen that, they made it all one color because he got his tattoo redone. Um, he got them all touched up and stuff. I am going to take this vest off so it doesn't freaking melt the damn jacket to the figure and then we're all just effed. So we're not going to do that. We're going to remove the vest. That way you don't run into any bull crap. I've, I've always taught the followers that you do want to remove that and get all that figured out. Now the only thing that sucks eggs is that, uh, you know, the, the torso won't be completely accurate. Like it won't look good like this. So that that's unfortunate. But you know, we're just doing the head swap here today with the hand and um, that, that could, you know, we could always do that later on or something. But I am going to put this to the front because I need to get the hands hot, obviously, so we can switch out these hands from the basic that we got forever ago. And then we are going to put the other arm right here. And then we do need to heat up this head sculpt. So hopefully this can get all this and we can switch it out without any problems here. But uh, the only way to find out is to go ahead and hit it. So let's go ahead and hit it. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this going. Got to pop these hands out like so, and then pop out the other hand like that. So we're done with those hands right there. Now we're going to go ahead and pop off this head sculpt of Randall Keith. And you know what? We'll go ahead and put this over here just because, you know, so he's not, you know, sitting there looking like a jackass. So we got the one hand. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the other hand. It doesn't feel like it got hot enough, so that makes me want to just kill someone. Oh, we actually did get it because Dr. Whitekiss is just killing it today. Okay, uh, okay, these are not going to go back in here. You can forget that, Brad. There ain't no damn way these are going in here. If that went in there, I'd freaking be freaking... No, it, it did go in. So that's freaking magical. Um, this one actually should be better because it's actually kind of stiff. Oh, hell yeah, Brad. That'll freaking get you pumped up for Christmas. All right, here we go. Pop off the Elite 67. Go over to the blue figure, and we're popping on this head sculpt, and then we will be done with this ring. The Orton until the end. There we go. So hell yeah, Brad. We're, we're doing freaking excellent right now. We, we can take a closer look at that Randy at the end. So we got the one Randy Orton done. Now we're moving on to this Randy. We're going to go ahead and pop this head sculpt over here. And bam. There we go. So that I actually have a Randy Orton that looks just like this. We did a long time ago on extra figure surgery, I think, or I did like a fix up on it where it was basically the Elite 2 Orton with that head sculpt from the basic, which I still love to this day. I use it in the pick fed, so if that tells you anything. Thing. Um, and then the other thing we got to do is switch out these Ziggler arms and this Ziggler head sculpt. And then we're doing the same thing up here, switching off the Elite 39 head and the other white basic arms that look way better. And you know what? We'll go ahead and put these over here, I guess. Ziggler arms over there. Ziggler arms up here. Popping the older Elite 5 over here. And he's off to the fodder pile back there with the little collection we've assorted already. And so he'll go back here. And then we're popping the Elite 39 head sculpt onto this Ziggler, and then we're popping on the white arms right there. 
and then over here and bam bro freaking killing it right now with all these fix-ups and customs on this episode so much stuff i mean i wanted a big video for 1000 you got it bro we got a lot of surgery going right now and we've already completed a ton so that's awesome so next up is going to be whatever the hell we want it to be right i think we got three things left two of them are these basic head swaps so these shouldn't be too too terrible we do have to head swap the brock and head swap the fin now uh god i don't want to have to take off this shirt but i'd hate to ruin the ringside exclusive wouldn't you hate to ruin the ringside exclusive that would be god awful is the ringside exclusive brock not the is that not like a uh in the wrestlemania 32 elite brock just a re-release of the ringside exclusive or am i tripping ball sack right there can somebody let me know to that down in the comment section below but we do have finn right there and then we got the smiley finn head here and I think that's pretty much it until we get to Bobby Trashley. Then we're going to end the video with the Bobby Lashley, I guess. But let's go ahead and hit it so we can get all these basic head swaps done. All right, guys, let's see if this is good enough. We're going to start with our smiley fin head sculpt. And oh my God in heaven, I'm going to have to pull it off camera because it's trying to break. All right, there we go. Don't know if you guys could hear that, but uh, yeah. All right, now we're gonna go to this fin, and this one I'm kind of scared of because it does have this like custom. Oh, okay, that didn't even get heated up. I hate myself. F. Uh, you know what? All right, we'll we'll go over here to this Brock. Ooh, what's up with it making, dude, anytime you do a head swap from now on, make sure that bitch is heated up, because look how small these peg holes are nowadays. You gotta be freaking careful, man. They're, they're coming for the skull right here. So there is Brock. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over, because uh, I can put him in the crowd or something. So there we go. There's that basic Brock right there. He can go over here chilling. And then we're gonna put the basic head sculpt over here from the battle pack, from the battle pack with Seth Rollins over there. So we are gonna pop that on there and now what we have to do is switch up this fin head skull i didn't show us heating it up because i didn't want to bore you guys with another just little basic head swap here but uh, i guess we can go ahead and pop this on here because that could be a crowd member as well top talents fin head sculpt going on there and that sits a little high but it's not that bad all right so we got these two basics that actually you know what we can just kind of stick them back here right there with that and then putting the smiley head sculpt onto this fin baller before we move on to the final bit of the surgery right there bam wallabushka we'll take a look at that with everything else at the end and now we're finally moving on to the last portion of the action figure surgery episode guys where we are going to be making this bobby trashley figure so we got our basic that we're kind of you know, mimicking here. We have the rest of our stuff, and we do have to switch out these arms, which is unfortunate. I am going to take the elbow pads off, because I do want to put those onto the Shelton Benjamin arms, so I do want to slide those off real quick. There's the right arm. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do this. That way, you know, I don't mix them up or anything like that. Uh, you know what, Brad? Uh, yeah. Boom. Popping that on there, because you guys know we have interchangeable hands, and I actually like the Bobby Trashley hands better, because they're not choke slamming hands. They're actually just mic holding hands, so that's better, so he can cut a god-awful promo on us. So there's that, and then you take the mic holding hand out of there, and go to the left arm right there, and then you take this mic holding hand out of there, and go over to the choke slamming hand of this figure right there, and now that I look at this Shelton hand, there's like some freaking white schmutz right there that pisses me right off. But now we're going to go over here and get the other elbow pad off. And then we're coming back over here to the mic holding hand like so. And so now our Bobby Trashley arms are ready to pop on. Now we just got to heat these up. And I don't think we're going to be able to heat those up while we heat the other up. We don't even need this basic. He can just kind of go over here because we're not swapping heads or anything like that. Um, the hands can go back here. And then we need this piece of trash Carl Anderson with the thighs we need. And we're going to just heat this up like this because they're both on ball joints. And we might as well just heat this up. I doubt we get the other arms, you know, the, uh, the regular Elite 69 Bobby Trashley arms heated up while we do this. But you never know. So we're just going to put them right there and just full crotch blast them with this uh, trusty white hair dryer. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see if we can get this going. We're going to point the uh, Carl Anderson arms up. We're going to go ahead and pop that off there, pop that off there, and we do have to pop this upper thigh part off, which is god-awful. It's so terrible to do. I hate it. Um, that's the right leg. I'm going to go ahead 
and actually just pop the Lashley leg off so that way we keep them even and I don't have to you know mix up the thighs which I have done before so there's that one thigh and we're gonna have to pop this over here make sure we put it on correctly and don't F anything up uh, there's that and pop that back on to the trash leak pop up here and then pop this other upper thigh off which again this is pretty god awful I hate doing it but you know you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do to get the swap right Brad you gotta do everything you gotta do Urgh, come on Okay, got that, and then, oh god, I don't want to do it backwards. I guess it's impossible to do it backwards, because we, you know, we switched it correctly. Like, we put them on the right leg. Like, I don't think you can mess it up as long as you put it on the right leg. And then we go, and then popping this over here. Hell yeah. And then these arms did not get heated up, which is unfortunate, but then we got to switch out our boots too, which actually did get heated up, so that's, you love to see that. Okay, the boots are over there, upper thighs are over there, those legs there, those legs there. Done. And then these boots are not heated up yet. Okay, they do go on though, so that's cool. So the Dolph Ziggler boots do go on to the trash leak. We thought they went on to the trash leak, Brad. God dang. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll just give me a second and we'll, we'll be able to do the last portion. We're going to put the boot here. Arms, these arms are pretty dig I'm heated up. I don't think I need to do that, but we do have to heat up these trashly arms. <sighs> you just hate to freaking see it, Brad. You hate to see it. I'm going to give it a little kickstand right there and see if we can get it right. Alright guys, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see if we can get these Bobby Trashley arms off. There's the right slash left arm, and here's the left slash right arm. I say slash because it was like, you know, it depends on the perspective that you're looking at. You better get off, you piece of trash. Gotcha, ho. And then going over here, pop on the left slash right arm, and then the other left right slash whatever arm, and then going over here to the boot, and booyah. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have completely switched everything that we're going to switch here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery on this 1,000th video of mine here on the channel. So, you know what I'm going to do now, Brad? I'm going to send it over to the last segment of the video where we review everything that we have done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. So, in total today, guys, we did do 12 total fix-ups slash customs when it was all said and done and put all together. Really excited for how most of these turned out. I think they actually turned out pretty damn fire. You can let me know what you think down in the comment section below as we progress through the video, guys. So, let's go ahead and start off with Dolph Ziggler. Again, this is the Elite 5 Ziggler. And again, we just switched out the boots, switched out the arms and the head sculpt. And I think it looks all right. You know, it's a cool little fix-up. I think that if we had smaller knee pads on it, it would probably be a little bit better. But I like it. You know, it kind of ties in. I like the white matching the white there. You got the boots tying in, the updated head sculpt on that figure. And it's nothing too crazy, but I think it does look, uh, you know, it gives it something different. Because I already have an Elite 5 Ziggler with the already, you know, regular Elite 5 head sculpt, arms, vest, and boots. So this gives it a different different little look and I like that a lot about the figure. So there is the little Dolph Ziggler. Next up guys, we do have our first of many Rollins in this video. We have our Elite 75 fix up with the Elite 37 head sculpt on it and uh, I think it looks alright. You know, it's it's pretty wicked looking because, you know, it has like the chest hair and it has the newer like 2019 Seth Rollins attire but it does have the throwback head sculpt and I just, I just think this head sculpt is so good and it has the blonde streak so I think it looks good on any Seth Rollins figure or attire that you want to put it on. I love this head sculpt and I think it fits any Rollins figure you want to put it on. It looks badass. So I like the Elite 75 with the Elite 37 head sculpt. Looks pretty wicked. I'd like to see somebody use this in a pick fed somewhere. Next up guys, we do have our other Rollins and I want to go ahead and knock this one out and this other one because these are pretty much, you know, just, I mean, I know we put the basic 102 head sculpt over here on the TNF Rollins and I think this looks freaking sweet as like a mock regular Rollins in that TNF attire. And then we just added the Elite 37 vest to this TNF Rollins, or this uh, top Talents Rollins over here, and they're just two different looking Rollins from, you know, two different little time periods here. Obviously, this one was before this one over here, but I think the all black looks cool, and I do like the uh, the TNF with the uh, older arm articulation, which makes it better, and then the basic 102 head sculpt makes it look a lot better as well, so both these Rollins look epic. I like them a lot, and I can't wait to put them up on the shelf with the rest of them. They are going to look badassery. Next up, guys, we do have, uh, what do you want to cover? I guess we have Sting right here. Sting's nothing. You know, we did put those Hurricane boots on there. Looks kind of odd, but you know, it, it is what it is. It's just like a regular fix-up. It's not even a fix-up, really. It's just sort of the result of a different fix-up, which I do want to look at because I think this looks super badass. You have the Sting TNF boots 
on this hurricane and I just love the way the green looks popping off with this figure. It's not coming across like it does in person as it, you know, in the video, but it looks badass. I think the greens all kind of tying together. Um, I don't think this green actually matches any green on the figure, but uh, you know how, I mean, the dark green really didn't match any green either besides maybe the hair, but I love the different tones of green and these boots give him more of a superhero feel. I don't know about you, but I like the way this fix up looks. It's something different. I've never seen it done i saw the green on the on the sting and i said you know what let's go ahead and put that on hurricane see what the hell comes of it this is the result looks badass i think this is a very underrated fix up and custom slash figure and uh it, it looks really bad I'm, I'm really excited for the way this looks this is like my favorite part of the hobby it's throwing stuff together and you know getting results like this so that that looks sick next up guys we do have our both our we have our both we have both randy orton's here with the elite 67 head swap and the hand tape swap so you have the elite 67 on that blue attire it looks really badass i think it looked even better if it had the right torso you know with the tattoos up there and the updated arms with the interchangeable but i think both ordens do look well um this even elite 67 fix up with the older basic head sculpt looks great so both of these ordens turned out rad i like them both i think they look great which one do you like better down in the comment section below you like the blue elite 67 head or you like the basic on the elite 67 body let me know down below i like the blue i think it just pops off really nicely and then coming into our final four figures guys we do have our uh, battle pack conversions here of Brock and Finn and I like both of these a lot at first I thought Brock's head sculpt sat too low but now after I look at it again I think it looks super badass man he looks like a freaking animal like he did back in the day and I like this man that, that looks so good I kind of want I'm gonna keep him like this I don't think I want to put the here comes the paint shirt back on him because it's rubber and it's god awful but that looks sick dude that that looks so epic I love that head sculpt for Brock and then Finn I like a lot too I like the smiley fin head sculpt especially for this time period the balor club with the leather jacket and everything and since again i have the nxt custom for current day i don't really need this to have a serious face anymore i can go back to the smiley face for this look so there is those two figures and finally rounding off our action figure surgery and 1000th video on the channel we are going to our bobby lashley fix up which looks super clean dude i freaking love it i know that it could possibly look even more clean and maybe if i left the arms like they were but i like the white i think it ties in great to the boots and then the lashley here and then you spin it around just so sick dude that looks sick i really like this bobby lashley fix up and it kind of ties in nicely to our other bobby lashley where we put the hall of champions batista boots on it and uh put the biker trunks i can't believe they left off the biker trunks that's really unfortunate but we don't have to worry about any paint chipping or anything and i had that carl anderson sitting around forever so i'm glad to switch that out and have this look of lashley and kind of convert that basic back there into an elite and i like the i like the result i think it looks sick and then finally, guys, we have our fantasy attire Rollins that uh, I will let you guys decide down in the comment section below if you like it. I personally do like it. I think it looks pretty cool. It's sort of a mashup of all different kinds of Rollins attires. And it's just, it, it reminds me a lot of the Thanos attire while at the same time, uh, something different and new. And I think it looks pretty badass. I don't know about you, but I like it. I think it looks kind of cool. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I think the white ties in perfectly. Uh, the silver grayish color ties in nice to the knee pads with the white. I don't know. I, I, I just really like it for some reason. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, I think it would look better if it had chest hair, you know, but uh, nonetheless, still a badass looking Rollins. I like it a lot, and I would love to know what you think down below, but that is going to do it for our 1000th video here on the channel, our action figure surgery episode number 44. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Comment down below what you think of all of our fix-ups here today. I mean, we did so much-ish, Brad. I don't know how long the hell this video is, but I had a ton of fun here today, and I can't wait to uh, be back for episode number 45, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Again, Hell's Gate's not coming today because obviously um, my son was born and so I got to keep working on that I said that weeks ago that if Josiah was born I would not be able to upload Hell's Gate on the 29th so I hope you guys do understand but thank you guys for watching subscribe to this channel follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you